Hi everybody, this is Gatsad. I wanted to spend a few minutes discussing the difference between an effective apology and an apology of the cowardly. Let's talk about the first, the former type. Uh, for an apology to be effective, it must be costly. So let's suppose that you commit a grave infraction. I don't know, you cheat on your spouse and you're uh, desperate to have them forgive you then of course if you just send the flower and say hey i'm sorry for my faux pas then that's probably not going to pass the threshold of what constitutes the necessary humility the necessary contriteness that because the the, the message and that apology is not so costly to you uh, that it is an honest signal of your uh, regret of your truly being apologetic. I wrote an article back in 2009 on apologies as costly signals, and I referred to a paper that was published in Evolution and Human Behavior that exactly looks at that, how for apologies to be effective, they need to be costly signals. Costly signals in the evolutionary biological sense of the term, and the way that a peacock's tail is a costly signal of uh, the peacock's uh, quality, genetic quality. So in many cases, when someone is truly required to apologize, then go all out. Uh, don't be half-assed about it. Uh, if you truly need to get in the good graces of the person that you've aggrieved, well, then all bets are off. Prostrate yourself. Truly uh, apologize in the most heartfelt of ways. On the other hand, what we have today is uh, an endless set of folks who engage in public apologies in cases where they shouldn't be apologizing, but it's because they are weak, they're cowardly, they're castrated. They don't truly hold on to a set of established principles that would cause them to say, wait a minute, I don't have to apologize to you. As a matter of fact, apologize to me, you schmuck, you cretin, you enemy of reason. Now, why am I talking about this today is because I'd like to build on what I discussed earlier today. I put up a clip about Chelsea Clinton being approached by Lynn Dweck, the Jew hater from New York University, who approached uh, Chelsea Clinton at a vigil to honor the memory of the people who tragically lost their lives in uh, New Zealand. And again, Chelsea Clinton is a ultra progressive, ultra liberal this uh, Muslim student approached her and said, you are the reason for uh, what happened in uh, New Zealand. You're the, you're the reason for it because you put out these tweets against Ilhan Omar as if criticizing a Muslim woman who is a member of the U.S. Congress should cause some maniac several thousand miles away to walk into a mosque and kill innocent people. And then, of course, what did... Uh, Chelsea, the castrated Clinton, do? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry you feel this way. Why did she do that? Because she doesn't have the strength of her convictions to back her up. I'd like to see this excrement of a human being, this Lena, Lean Dweck, approach me and ask me to apologize for criticizing Ilhan Omar. Oh boy, that would be a different story, wouldn't it? So the problem is that people don't have a good moral compass to know when they truly, with all humility, should apologize. Listen, if I walk into my house and I speak to my Belgian shepherds in a manner that I consider to be too curt, I'll be the first to go down and kiss them and say, I'm so sorry for, for having you know, uh, not greeted you in the way that you deserve. I'll apologize to my dog. But that's because I think in that moment I'm wrong. But you approach me and try to intimidate me when you are trying to attack principles that I believe in. And then it's going to take a long, long time before you get me to apologize in a castrated way. So the lesson here is that if your principles are truly built on edifices of reason, of logic, of a, a well thought out moral calculus, then you don't apologize when a cretin, when a schmuck like Lynn Dweck approaches you. What, what a shameful moment it is to see the cowardly Chelsea Clinton start apologizing. And if you noticed, 
the more that she apologized, the more the other one felt emboldened to go on. Why? Because she's a bully. Bullies attack the weak. Don't apologize when you don't have to. Stand by your principles. Be a honey badger. Cheers, everybody.